Top story for us today, two Birmingham lawyers and a coal company executive have now been indicted in a conspiracy to bribe a legislator. You may remember when former state representative Oliver Robinson Jr. entered a guilty plea and announced his cooperation with the federal government. Well, now we're seeing more fallout from that case. To explain, we go to CBS 42 News reporter Lee Garner. She's in the newsroom. Lee? Well, Sherry, I've got the indictment right here listing the defendants in this case as Joel Gilbert and Stephen McKinney. They are both attorneys with the law firm Balch and Bingham. And then David Roberson, he's an executive with Drummond Coal Company. It was done all under the guise of a foundation doing outreach, but really what it was was buying a public official. While detailing Wednesday's six-count indictment against Balch and Bingham attorneys Joel Gilbert and Stephen McKinney and Drummond Company's David Roberson, U.S. Attorney Jay Town explained that allegedly buying a politician was cheaper for them than paying for an environmental cleanup. They needed a guy, and that guy was Oliver Robinson. Elevated levels of arsenic, lead, and benzopyrenes were found in soil samples in North Birmingham. Cleanup, according to town, could cost Drummond tens of millions of dollars, especially if the EPA added the site to the national priorities list. This action or consideration prompted this conspiracy and these criminal actions because of the financial exposure that Drummond would likely face. Town told CBS 42 evidence shows that others at Drummond and Balch and Bingham were duped by the alleged co conspirators, saying at this time, these are our four. I feel very confident about the charges that we have here today. Well, we have heard from attorneys representing both David Roberson and also the team representing Joel Gilbert, and both have said that their clients are innocent. We've also gotten a response from the Balch and Bingham law firm. We'll tell you more about what they had to say tonight on the CBS 42 News at 6. For now, live in the newsroom, Lee Garner, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.